St. Anthony Corral, attributed to Haydn, with a slight nod of respect to Brahms, who calculated some of that harmony in his uh, own variations. And happy birthday to Haydn. Let's kick off with the music. Let's do that. Don't Take the A Train is obviously a spoof on um, another famous title and uh, a lovely set of chords. Reinvented, recomposed and performed by Jack Murray. Jack Murray, of course, those of you who are regular listeners will be familiar with his saxophonic prowess. He's got his chums in on this one. I need to list them for you. Alex Baker, Arthur Easy, Zach Schindler, Aaron Lidard, Freddie Garner, James Lawson and Clara Devlin. So Jack leads them off. Let's let's enjoy this um, sideways glance at Strayhorn and um, Ellington through the looking glass of Jack Murray. Thank you. 
Ian Haywood makes a welcome return to our screens and our ears with uh, another one of his originals. Uh, this time very much, uh, as you can tell from the visuals, as much as the music, um, not just performed in lockdown, but uh, filmed in lockdown during that snap we had of snow, I think. Uh, and what a lovely um, what a lovely set of visuals it is, and the music too. Uh, some wildlife for you here, those fans amongst you. Shall we enjoy it? Let's do that. Ian Haywood's The Robin in the Snow. My turn now to take uh, to the uh, stage in uh, a performance of a piece by Kenny Doran, 
uh, an old perennial in the kind of bossanova groove with a little bit of a little bit of a uh, fusion inside it. I, could, I think it's blue bossa. I kind of make it up as I go along here. It's called improvisation. It's jazz music. I, I enjoyed myself. I hope you go along with that feeling to blue bossa. <laughs> now from Sunil Tete and the music composed and performed by uh, a now familiar figure in our lunchtime concerts Mr Frank Spears Cinematic Guitar 2 <laughs>
before we head on to our last item. Last week, you will remember I told you about our audience vote birthday concerts. As promised, you can see the details of the voting methodologies now. So here we go with it. We're celebrating two special concerts on Wednesday and Thursday, the 19th and 20th of May, respectively. You choose who you'd like to see again from absolutely everyone we featured in our year of online programmes. Send us your vote by using the form on our website, where you'll also find an archive, should you wish to investigate, of all the concerts to help you refresh your memory. As it's going to be such an impossible choice, we're giving you up to three nominations. All the information you'll need to cast your vote is there on the audience vote page. I'm assuming that everything has gone to plan and that you are now seeing our website address at the bottom of the screen right now. Don't worry if you miss it. The address will appear again at the end of today's concert. Voting will close in just over three weeks on the 23rd of April. Have a good time voting. I'm so curious as to who you vote for. Sweet Georgia Brown. Great tune. Great thing to go out on. This one is from the 2014 concert. Great fun. Uh, no drums in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Or is there? Well, the drums actually are in the mouth of Andy Frost. You'll enjoy this. It's by uh, Ben Burney and Maceo Pinkard, and it's performed by our wonderfully familiar and wonderfully fresh um, ensemble of Larry Berkowitz, Zach Barrett and friends. Thank you for being here. Looking forward to next time. Sweet Georgia Brown. favorite.